franchise player, the seven foot one inch, 300 pound behemoth, Shaquille O'Neal. A physical super freak, Shaq possessed both the size and power to tear down a ring. Shaquille O'Neal, 7'1", 300 pounds, with the back flip. He was a movie star. Had his own video game. The charisma to command the spotlight. A platinum-selling rap artist. One million albums. First professional athlete ever. Shaquille O'Neal being grabbed and tugged on, able to double clutch a little bit, shoot it on the way down. But above all, he was perhaps the most dominant player in league history. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq attack. The son of an army drill sergeant, Shaquille was raised on army bases throughout the U.S. and Europe. You guys were poor, did not have a lot of money. He was born in Newark, but most of his formative years were spent on the move between army bases around the world. In 1985, Dale Brown, legendary coach of LSU, held a basketball clinic on base in Germany. There, he'd encounter 13-year-old Shaq who was looking for fitness advice. I want you to tell everybody out there the story about how you met Dale Brown. All right, it was in a um, basketball camp at West Germany. And then after the camp was over, I said, Coach Brown, how could I increase my jumping ability? He looked at me, he says, uh, well, how long you been in the Army, soldier? I said, no, I'm not in the Army, I'm 13. He went crazy. What? What? Young Shaq apparently left quite the impression on Coach Brown. He sent Shaq the entire training program from LSU. The family settled at Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio. The Shaq went to Cole High School and led his team to 68 wins in 69 games over two seasons. Shaq lost just one game his entire high school career. Growing up, it took a disciplinarian to make me who I am. I was raised in a good family. You know, my dad always told me, uh, you know, uh, you're just like everybody else, you put your pants on the same way everybody else puts your pants on. You know, just be yourself. Look at Shaquille O'Neal. We're watching a seven-footer hanging in the air. His body is so similar to Akeem the Dream Olajuwon against Chris Jackson in high school. Here's Shaquille Look at this guy the ball. Look at the ball. After leading his high school to a national title, Shaq committed to LSU and coach Dale Brown. I'm in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, also known as Bayou Country, home of gumbo, politics, and our focus, LSU basketball. Seven foot one, nearly 300 pounds, yet only weeks beyond his 19th birthday. O'Neal was the biggest college star in ages. LSU sophomore Shaquille O'Neal is already being heralded as one of the top centers in the universe. by Shaquille O'Neal, who now has just set a single-season shot-blocking record. Rumors had swirled about the second coming of Wilt. The alley-oop to Shaq. For once, the hype was deserved. And Shaquille O'Neal for LSU, 26 points, 13 rebounds and 11 blocks. shots. Every now and then, a college player comes along who seizes the attention of NBA Brass League-wide. LSU's Shaquille O'Neal is such a player. Shaq quickly found success in the college game. Today, they will take the ball to Shaquille O'Neal. Boy, they are penetrating him. Oh, the Shaq! Knocks it into the seats. Watch this. Opponents resorted to dangerous fouls in order to prevent the beast from scoring. Teams, teams went after him in a way that was illegal, the tactic was so common, it even had its own name, Hack-A-Shack. He was an instant celebrity, garnering the cover of Sports Illustrated, signing autographs and taking photos. It was only a matter of time before he went to the NBA. Shaquille O'Neal can't become the best player ever to play basketball. Whether he does depends on him. He has all the, 
the ability, the physical skills, the mental skills, the family background, the discipline, the work ethic. Now it's just whether he puts his time and mind to it. At center, a 7-1 sophomore from San Antonio, Texas, number 33, Shaquille O'Neal. Campus of Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge. Shaquille O'Neal is the best pure physical talent in America. We're tied. Just throw it up to me. Watching the making out here of the next superstar that will arrive in the NBA. I mean, that is frightening. That is frightening. Sing the praises of Mr. O'Neal. Mills had his hand on it. Hugh comes up with it. There it is. It's over. It's over. It's over. He was such a force at LSU, he later received his own statue. ESPN has learned that LSU Shaquille O'Neal will leave school one year early for the NBA draft. Shaquille O'Neal, after careful deliberation, has decided to forego my senior year of eligibility at LSU. I'm not making this decision out of anger or frustration. As expected, he was the first pick in the 92 draft. With the first pick in the 1992 NBA draft, the Orlando Magic selects Shaquille O'Neal from Louisiana State University. The newest member of the Orlando Magic was as hyped as any prospect in NBA history. And we did some research and found out that in the year that you were a rookie, nearly 2,000 boys were named Shaquille. An immediate sensation. The public became enamored with this giant of a man who seemed so playful and lighthearted. Dr. J passed it to myself. I had to pass it to Michael. Jordan, now it's uh, Shaquille O'Neal's turn. Are you ready to take all that weight and put it on your shoulders and handle that situation? I hope I am. He's the most heralded rookie in the NBA in quite some time. Number 32, Shaquille O'Neal. I'm working on my outside shooting. He said, I'm starting to look at the front of the rim to try to drop. O'Neal rejects and Sally kicks it out of bounds. You do it with defense in this league, he does not have to score points for him to help this ball club. If he rebounds and blocks shots, rebound. now the Magic with a final shot chance. O'Neal runs the floor. Takes it all the way. Is he seven foot or what? He was selected as the NBA Player of the Week in his first week of playing in the NBA. Of all the rookies that I have interviewed the last couple of years, Shaquille is one who is not in awe of the NBA. He is really one fun guy to be around. He keeps everybody loose because he loves to have fun. <laughs> the Shaq attack, huh? Yep, Shaq attack. Spend some time with Shaquille O'Neal and you'll find that he hasn't gotten carried away with his lofty early season numbers. About 23 points, 15 boards, three blocks a game though the rest of the league has. Shaquille doing a good job on the defensive boards. That's five rebounds. He would capture Rookie of the Month four times. Look at this finish. I, Johnny Newman, I watched him, and he was watching Shaquille run down the floor, and it was almost, do I get in his way or don't I? Generally, guys at that size are a little timid. They don't want to be tall. They don't want to be big. Shaq rejecting JRE, then knocking him over. Shaq with 20 in the first half. He missed just one game his rookie year due to a suspension for fighting. Robertson and O'Neal, and there were two solid shots landed. Man, this dude was... He did not care. He was mean. He was nasty. He was competitive. He was vindictive. He signed a massive deal with Reebok as his brand began to grow. You know, he's 7'1", 300 pounds, strength, finesse, a $42 million contract, and a license to print more money.
Now just three months into his first NBA season, Shaquille O'Neal has exploded onto the scene and taken a place alongside Jordan as perhaps the NBA's two most popular players. Shaq enjoyed playing against the best big men in the game like Patrick Ewing. He's 7'1", 300 pounds. Uh, he, was every, he uses every, every, every ounce of it. Using his 60-pound weight advantage and considerable strength to muscle Ewing. Shaq had his way with Ewing. Ewing tries to respond, though, but is rejected by Shaq. Shaq's numbers and impact today would be even greater. Shaq telling Patrick Ewing, who's number one now? Shaq, you had almost quadruple team. <laughs> The most dominant ever, man. Read my lips. He had made it a mission to let the world know... Dr. J presenting Shaq with a Rookie of the Month plaque. He was the new king of the big men. Yeah, all right. He was truly larger than life. Every day, I think he literally would come to practice every day thinking of how can I make everybody laugh. The heir apparent to Michael Jordan's throne he attracted adoring fans everywhere he went. The Shaq looked like the Pied Piper. Kids following him into the arena. Leading them out there, he is the first rookie to start in the NBA All-Star Game since Michael Jordan did so in 1985. And he's got 20, a steal. Back to him. He's one of four players to win the All-Star Game MVP three times. Yes! Shaquille! Back to him. Way to set him up, Scottie Pippen. Left hand, I don't call it left hand, Ooh. You don't have to be a Phi Beta Kappa to figure out that the Shaq will probably be the Rookie of the Year this year. His freakish strength and size presented an entirely new set of problems for the NBA. Oh. He follows it almost and does bring down the entire oh. backboard. That's one we haven't seen. The new structure that they are rolling in, they are going to replace the entire structure because of the Shaq attack on the last ring. I played in the NBA for 16 years. Shaquille O'Neal is the only guy that said, man, that's a big dude. Yeah. <laughs> He's a big dude. Back up basket ready just in case because the Shaq man was there and ready to duke it out. After tearing down multiple rims. Engineers were forced to redesign the support apparatus in every arena to shack proof them. Maintenance man wasn't too happy, though, because he had to come out and do some work. But O'Neal wears that collar called potential. Sometimes that collar tightens and strangles even the most promising players. Will that happen with the Shaq? I don't know how many. It can't be more than a handful of players in NBA history who've had a physical advantage against any opponent every night of their career. Yeah. Shaq's one of those guys. Well, there's no question that Shaq has already joined the elite centers in the league. You can remember my first commercial was Kareem, it was Will Chamberlain, it was Bill Russell, and it was Bill Walton. And I designed that commercial to, to keep me motivated and say, you know what, they're going to compare you to these guys. You gotta play similar to these guys or better to these guys if you wanna reach the pinnacle to where these guys reach. During the off season, Shaq filmed Blue Chips. I mean what? Did you ever see this movie? Do you ever see the movie Blue Chips? Do you ever see that? No. That's a great movie. And the rookie of the year from Louisiana State, number 32, Shaquille O'Neal. In his second season. Shaq grew even more dominant. By the way, Shaquille's competing with himself tonight across America as the night his new movie opens is tonight. And then Blue Chips with Nick Nolte. Another rebound for Shaquille O'Neal. You might even say Shaquille is in a transition year. A year from, yeah, he's a great rookie. Yes, he's a tremendous talent. But how great is he going to be? How much of a game is he going to develop? Shaquille O'Neal. Davis puts it on the floor, spins with a left hand. O'Neal came from nowhere and blocked it. And O'Neal another block. Oh, my. There'll never be anybody like Shaquille O'Neal. Ever. Block. Oh. <laughs> 38. Well, I'm Louis J. 
chases it down. Material Green running right wing. O'Neal trailing. Oh! Shaq equals his career high of 38 points tonight, added 13 rebounds and 7 blocks. O'Neal is first in the league in points, first in field goal percentage, and he is third in rebounding. Young Shaq was fearless, routinely diving for loose balls. Nick Anderson's turnaround from 18 doesn't go down, he loses the ball. Great save by Shaquille O'Neal. Scott for three. And with the arrival of Anthony Hardaway, the magic seemed poised for big things. And a young man who is in the race, and at this point a two-man race for Rookie of the Year with Chris Webber of Golden State. First for him, a triple-double, 11 blocks, which is a team record. He has 17 rebounds, and O'Neal with 18 points. It was during this time he dropped his debut album. The album went platinum, making Shaq the first professional athlete to ever achieve the feat. One million albums. First professional athlete ever. He's three of four outside the arc. O'Neal with a big time block on I say. Head man the break, you know what's coming, and boom. Boom, perfect timing. To be successful in the intensely competitive NBA, you must be mentally focused for each game. When the Magic plays at home in the arena, Shaquille O'Neal has the vehicle to put him in the right frame of mind. This is his favorite, the Shaq Fu. If that weren't enough, he then received the highest honor obtainable in life, in my humble opinion. His own video game. Shaq Fu. In 1994, Dream Team 2 embarked on a two-year mission for Olympic gold. And I still Amen. think Dream Team 2 could beat Dream Team 1, and I don't care who like it. Dream Team 2 meets China tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern on TNT. Shaquille O'Neal, uh, he just turned 24 years old March 6th. Dennis Scott, his buddy, gave him a Superman cake. They had tremendous shoes to fill after Michael Jordan's Dream Team 1 had annihilated all competition. Thankfully for them, Shaq wore a size 23. Look out, here comes Shaquille. Yes, the game within the game for Shaquille. Shaquille O'Neal. Their average margin of victory was 33 points. During the gold. By now, the Magic were perennial contenders. They're being spearheaded by O'Neal. You can see the points and the rebounds. Hardaway has come into his own as the total all around point when guard. When the ball was down low, there was seemingly nothing NBA defenses could do to stop Shaq. Expectations were high. That's what they call Mark the Titchy Roll. I worked with Shaq a little bit on this, and he, he almost has it down. We got to do a little bit more work. On Shaq had the magic primed for a title run. But Shaq was just the biggest guy that's ever played with He's that so much big. agility. That year, Michael Jordan had returned after being retired for two years. If there was ever a time to take out Mike, this was it. Michael loads up. Get him, Mike. MJ was his usual spectacular self. Look out, three on one. But the Bulls could do little to slow the Shaq attack. Jordan in the paint. Here, both MJ and Scotty made business decisions. Ooh, I'm speaking of softening them up. That stature. The series was actually one-sided, but I can't not show you these insane MJ moments. Jordan! 
Shaq averaged 24 points, 13 rebounds, four assists, two blocks, plus a steal. Oh, look at Shaq with a steal. And leading Orlando to victory over Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. Oh my goodness, Shaquille O'Neal, what an athlete. That makes Shaq the only player ever to lead his team past Michael Jordan in the playoffs since Jordan won his first finals in 1991. United Center in Chicago and defeat the Chicago Bulls 108 to 102. After we beat the Bulls, I let up. Took your foot off we the beat gas. Mike. Oh. We straight. The 1995 NBA Finals. We done played Houston before. I think it was one and one. The or, NBA you know. Finals. The Rockets, of course, lead the best of seven, three zip for the young Orlando Magic. Once the favorites in this series, the realistic goal now has been reduced to win one game. So we get swept. That was my fault we lost. Shaq put up his typical massive numbers, but it wasn't enough. Orlando was swept by the Rockets. Three of these four games were very close until the fourth quarter. What was the difference? Why was Houston able to pull away and win those close games? Uh, they shot the ball well, they played real well, but I want to congratulate our team for not, for not giving up. Orlando Magic versus Chicago Bulls. We had beaten them the year before, went to the finals and got swept. Came back, Michael Jordan came back stronger than ever. The Bulls have swept the Magic. Jordan finishes with 45 points. The Bulls do it 106 to 101 as the Orlando Magic have been swept from the playoffs for the third straight season. Swept again. Uh -huh. Michael, who's my fraternity brother, puts his hand on my shoulder and says, before you succeed, you must first learn to fail. Shaquille walked off the court for the final time as a member of the Orlando Magic. I am Kazam! Well, I'm really happy for you. Where do you think you're going? I'm your genie! After a bidding war, Shaq opted to sign with the L.A. Lakers. Orlando wants him, the Lakers want him. The Tampa Tribune reports that Shaq turned down a seven-year, $119 million deal from the Magic. Uh, we get a call from, from Jerry West and my agent. 2 a.m., me and Jerome, we out of the club. Jerry West says, I got what you want. At that time, I was asked for 150. I knew I wasn't gonna get 150, but Jerry got me 120. Now, we're taping the show in June, but it's gonna air in July. By July, you might be a member of a new team. Have you heard this rumor? I heard. <laughs> so he called me up to the room. And he put the piece of paper on the thing. And before I could sign, he stopped me. He said, let me tell you something. I just acquired this kid from Charlotte. You and him are going to get about three or four championships. So we feel is going to bring us to that incredible level that this franchise has enjoyed in Los Angeles. The move paired him with 18-year-old rookie Kobe Bryant. The Lakers also have the sensation out of high school. Kobe Bryant, he was acquired from the Charlotte Hornets in the exchange for Vlade Divac. Everybody remembers that trade. So the crowd of 10,300 just waiting to see him, waiting to see the new edition of the Lakers, and there are a lot of new faces. Most dominant player I've ever seen. I mean, this guy was a, a force like I have never seen. Slammer, oh baby, save the women and children on that Floor, the little guy Hardaway is looking up and wondering what hit him. It was Shaquille O'Neal. Watch Campbell the trail. The post. Watch Here's the trail. Fatality. Oh! 37 for Shaquille O'Neal. 20 seconds remaining. Malone stayed away. Ties it up. And Del Harris wants him to bring it over the line. Shaq and the Lakers became the most talked about team in the league. Lakers play for the last shot here. You're the Lakers, you're playing for the win. So you got the last possession, that's what you want. Utah's 15-game winning streak on the line. Four seconds. Shaquille, fade away. On 
the biggest stage, Shaq almost always shined. In 97, he dropped the DC film, Steel. This is what comic book fans got in the 90s. As Kobe Bryant came into his own, Shaq entered the prime of his career. Shaq had his way with Robinson, Duncan, Morty. Promise and potential was no longer enough. He slam dunks, basket counts. Woo! Shaq needed to win it all. As the Lakers failed to win, cries of overrated and Shaq can't win soon followed. So get to LA, hoopla. Shaq here, young Kobe, go with him. Lose. Oh, Shaq, Kobe going to come back. Kobe second year, swept. Charles Barkley, since the season began, is saying, hey, I'm writing off the Lakers because they can't give the ball to Shaq in the last the quarter because he can't make free throws. I don't care how big his feet are, his free throws are bigger right now. Infamously, Shaq was less than good from the free throw line. Free throws no good or as Wesley Snipes would put it, Some mother are always trying to ice skate on Bill. This will be 16 free throws in the first half for one player. Didn't he shoot 30 times against either Chicago or Dallas? One of 33, I think. But he has a weakness. He's missed 23 of his last 37 free throws. Van Axel splits defenders. The dip. Oh, Neal! The two-handed slammer! Oh, my! Huh? Kobe was becoming one of the best in the game. Hanging in the air! Counted in a foul! I just saw his game, and he was flashy, flamboyant, and he was a force to be reckoned with. Jumper. Rebounded by O'Neal. He wants to <laughs> handle the ball. Look at this. A perfect combo. Shaq and Kobe took the league by storm. Kobe Bryant! Some combo, huh? I'm starting to hear, uh, how can this guy be top 50? How can he be the most dominant player when he gets swept every year in the playoffs? He's a terrible free throw shooter. He's doing too much. He's not working out. He's doing movies. He's doing rap albums. He's not dedicated. They're never going to win. So at that point in my life, I just got tired of failing. This thunderous block disrupted the camera feed momentarily. Chapman comes in deep all the way. All the way, pick it up, Shaq blocks it. He hit it so hard, the light from us went out. <laughs> Here we go. There he's down the hill, he's down the middle. Shot blocked by Shaq. Heaven help you if you had to pull off a last second shot against Shaq. Pick it into Mobley. They got to hurry, four seconds. Mobley on the move to the basket. Lost it, there's the horn, ball game. So now I got to step up. Everybody's looking at me, my family, the city. I'm looking at myself. It's just, it's just time to win. On his birthday, Shaq put on a career performance. Happy birthday, Shaq, 28 years of age. Just think, 28 years ago tonight, he was sleeping in a crib. Talking about Shaquille O'Neal having a birthday today, and boy, I'll tell you, yeah, he's averaging 33 points and 18 rebounds against the Clippers this year. 6'9", Shaq backs in, turns, shoots. That's his first birthday basket. And it won't be his last. Pass in the shack. Scoring at will. Finger rolls it in. You don't see him finger roll it very often. He put up 61 points against the Clippers. Three on two of them in the hurry. The shack slapped it home. So I know I had big shoes to fill. I knew I had big expectations. By Anderson, no, and the rebound is to Shaw. There goes Green, there goes Kobe. He led the league in dunks. Rebound to Shaq. That gives him 20 rebounds. A 50-20 game. Wow. <laughs> it's going to be more than that. Standing ovation. Beautiful play. 54 points. Career high for the MVP of the year. Happy birthday, Big Fella. And the crowd is chanting, get MVP. Well, for
for the MVP. The night reads 61 points, 24 of 35 field goals. He'd cap off his greatest season with an MVP. Congratulations, 1999-2000 NBA MVP Shaquille O'Neal. Those 79 games, MVP by far. I actually would have made history, but some idiot in Atlanta, I wish I could say his name because I would call him an idiot to his face. He messed up history. I would have been the first ever unanimous decision MVP. For us, and for me, I didn't want to have that have that title of, I ain't got one yet. Right. I remember one day reading, reading in the paper, oh, Shaq's averaging 20 or 30 and doing this, and the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar said, well, he didn't win none yet, right. so is he great? In the 2000 playoffs, MVP Shaq was a dominant force. The Suns dethroned San Antonio, winning their first round series in four. Shaquille O'Neal. As great as Shaq was in the regular season, the four-time NBA champion saved his best work for the playoffs. Kobe. Averaging 31 points and almost 16 rebounds. Arguably the most dominating big man ever. He's along and Penny Hardaway again is having a terrific year in Phoenix. Now Kobe Bryant between two defenders. Look at him go, spinning. And hitting plus the foul. Six on the shot clock as they find Shaq. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar skyhook. Tonight. It's the Portland Trailblazers versus the Los Angeles Lakers. It's down to one game. Just one game now. Game seven. Next. The series is tied at three games apiece. This afternoon, it's put up or shut up. Yet they have lost three times this year, once in the regular season and twice in this series, to the Trailblazers on their home floor. The greatest duo to me, Shaq and Kobe. Those were co-stars. They needed each other to be as great as they were. Well, the first thing that the Lakers have to realize is they've got 12 minutes to play with only a 13-point game. Not anymore. <laughs> Steve Smith hits on the run, and it's 15. I don't think you go to the after shot. I should have appreciated it more. Fight for everything here. The assertiveness, the offense. Now Kobe. Gives him the two-point lead. But I think now both of them look back fondly and miss a little bit of what they did have. Portland has three timeouts left. The Lakers have two. Bryant. to Shaquille O'Neal makes it a six-point difference with 41 and 3 tenths seconds left. After a brilliant series against the Blazers, Shaq and Kobe made their first finals appearance together. If you can't hold, if you can't dislodge, if you can't push him in the back. Looking for Shaq. There's no way you're stopping him when he's five, ten feet away from the basket. He's just too strong and too good. Can't stop that. As he gives it to Miller, Reggie with the running one-hander. The game plan uh, is crazy because rest in peace Kobe, the game plan always started with Shaq because he was so dominant at that time. Shaquille O'Neal showing early signs of just overpowering the Pacers in the paint. So even though Kobe was dominant, it was all about, hey, how do we stop Shaq? What do we do on his rolls, his deep post-ups? Where is the double team coming from? O'Neal's turnaround. Well, if he's going to hit that, in addition to overpowering you inside, you might as well wave the white flag of surrender. He's taken to calling a play like that the Shaw Shaq redemption. <laughs> because Shaq was one of those guys that once he established position down low, there was literally nothing you could do. Shawshank Redemption. Now that started in Orlando when these guys played together for the Magic. 
It was an all-time performance from Shaq. The shot clock, Reggie defending. Dominant on both ends of the court. Kobe finds Shaq with towers over the guard. Plus the foul. Averaging better than 36 points per game, and he has now moved in front of Hakeem Elijah on most points in a four-game series. Now Perkins inside, but here's Shaq. In the Lakers' three-peat, there was no way that shot was going to see the rim. He dominated the NBA Finals like no one besides Michael Jordan ever has. Wants it for shot, who finishes it, and they tack on the foul. And the Lakers are the 2000 NBA champions. The dynamic duo of Shaq and Kobe had captured their first title. For the third time in NBA history, the same person has won the MVP of the regular season, the MVP of the All-Star Game, and the MVP of the Finals. Shaquille O'Neal did it by averaging 38 points and 16 rebounds for the Finals. Shaq the man, the most dominant player in the world. With both stars being relatively young, their future was bright. Because I had you, I was able to just chill out in the summer, do what yeah, I do. Yeah, see, that's what, yeah. that's what pissed me off. <laughs> yeah, that, that was it right Thank there. You, that, that was... <laughs> Listen, I got beat up, I got hack and shack. I was tired, man. <laughs> I ain't still no work. I'm blood home, I'm swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Uncle Jerome, we sipping pina coladas, we eating burgers. <laughs> My ass is in the gym 10 hours a day. I wish he was in the gym. I would have had 12 rings. L.A. celebrated their championship. And already, talk of a dynasty was beginning. The 2001 Lakers were one of the greatest teams in league history. The passing crowd out of the 20,000 on hand, the 76ers starting lineup just introduced. They were one of only three teams to lose just one playoff game en route to winning the championship. Their regular season was just a formality. Owen Peasy Afro Kobe. Then we had Shaq and Kobe. I'll say it again Shaq and Kobe. This is the dude, though. This is that one that you really admire and respect as dominant on both ends of the court. Back-to-back <laughs> -back champions and back-to-back -back finals MVPs for Shaq. Who finish with a 15-1 run, the best all-time playoff winning percentage. It seemed like the only thing that could derail the Lakers was themselves. Part of the friction came from you both being very similar. Yeah. In, in what ways? Well, we're both we're both alpha males. I think I can remember the the, the first time we had our first fight, um, and you looked and said, "Okay, this is crazy." I did say that. Yeah. Sure. I, <laughs> Did I work hard in practice? No, never. And let me tell you why. The guy that, that, that I'm playing against, they're under me. So to try to show that they're worthy of being an NBA player, they would touch me up. So it's my philosophy, I'm not going to get touched up twice. I'm not going to get beat up in practice. 
and I'm not gonna get beat up in the game. Jack inside once again. Slam dunk to Shaquille O'Neal. 11-0 Shaq over the Pacers. Devin George slam dunk! Devin George, beautiful pass by Shaq. Yeah, a lot of people say you should work harder. Tinsley splits the defense. But then I, I, I asked him, how do you know? What do you know? A third straight finals appearance put the Lakers in rare company. The play against Shaq was like, it was like trying to post up an escalator. That's, that's just how strong he was. It was a one-sided affair as the Lakers motorboated the Nets. Motorboat? You play the motorboat? Ladies and gentlemen, the brooms are out. Shaq and Kobe put the finishing touches on their dynasty. Shut up for O'Neal. Delivering the sweep and joining Michael Jordan's Bulls. Lakers have made it three straight NBA championships. And the entertainment value and knowing that he was the face of the NBA for a, for a long while and didn't shrink from that. Winning his third most valuable player award, none other than Shaquille O'Neal. in those playoffs that in the offseason the NBA had to change the rules it eliminated the illegal defense rules paving the way for teams to play zone now that's the mark of greatness changing the game because we also found that in 2002 there were six males born in the US named Shakobi Shakobi Shaquille O'Neal walked into Staples Center as the fifth youngest player in NBA history to accomplish the plateau of scoring 20,000 points. The Lakers entered the season as the reigning three-time champs. Jackson, what a challenge out on the perimeter. Walker. Oh, there's a good lob in the shot. But they were surrounded by drama. A monster night for Shaquille O'Neal. Kobe was entering his prime and no longer looked to play second fiddle to Shaq. You talked about Shaquille O'Neal, where you basically said that he was fat and out of shape. I knew, I knew the fire that I lit. I knew what I said, and he knew what he said. Yeah, and I always told Shaq that, you know, even in practice, I used to tell him, "Man, you gotta get ready." Did he like hearing it? Probably not. Why do you think you were unable to maintain that same working relationship for longer? This just wasn't going to happen. It's just not, it's not in the cards. It all came to a head in the team's playoff series against the Spurs. The champs trail by nine. There's 12 minutes left, maybe in their season. Tim Duncan just continues <laughs> to go wild. To end the three championship run as Shaq and Kobe can only look on. Great team, great run, not enough for a younger club tonight. You could never discount how hard it is to win year after year after year. Just took its toll. They didn't have enough at the end. The Lakers went all in and brought Carl Malone and Gary Payton to the team. But Carl Malone injured his knee. He'd miss most of the season and was never truly the same. Fourth time in the finals, thanks to that man right over there. They want to win that game at all costs, and they'll do whatever it takes.
You guys were such huge personalities, and maybe that could be why. It wasn't just that they beat the Lakers, it was how they beat the Lakers. Were you surprised at how easy it was? Yeah, I, I didn't think they could dominate a team that won three rings to the extent that they would completely demoralize them and really take their will to play, which is exactly what they did. How did they take the Lakers' heart? The 2004 Lakers were one of the most hyped up yet disappointing teams of all time. But the Detroit Pistons have just shot the Los Angeles Lakers. 187 to win the NBA title. And for the Lakers, it truly will be the end of a particular era. They've had the three championships. The dynasty was dead. What if Kobe and Shaq had made it work? It is one of the fans' most discussed hypotheticals. Usually when uh, something happens, like the firing of a coach, I would know about it. But I wake up and I turn on ESPN like I always do. Da -na -na, da -na -na. Phil Jackson fired his leg of coach. When do you expect this soap opera to end that is going on between you and Kobe and Phil writing a book and all of this stuff. Kobe and Shaq have gotten a divorce. What caused the divorce? He did an interview just the other day where he was talking about uh, your work ethic in <clears throat> basketball. He said, he said if the work ethic had been higher, it could have been even better. We could have won even more rings. Uh, was he saying that to me or was he saying that to uh, all the statues that I have in front of the Staples Center? Because <laughs> he wasn't talking to me. In the end, the Lakers had to choose between Kobe and Shaq. They opted to stick with the younger Kobe and traded O'Neal to Miami. Tonight, the Los Angeles Lakers and Miami Heat have agreed to a trade that will send Shaquille O'Neal, one of the greatest big men of all time, to sunny South Florida. Shaq traded to the Heat. Kobe re-ups with the Lakers. The most talented, most dominant player in the world, and I want to welcome Shaquille O'Neal. I was so I was a I was so quiet. I was an introvert, like I didn't talk much, I didn't let my personality show. Shaq kind of opened me up, you know what I'm saying, when he gave me the nickname Flash, and you know what I'm saying, like I bought into the Flash character, mm -hmm. and like he started opening me up, so I started being more like, you know, I started speaking for myself. In Miami, Superman and Flash would make for the ultimate hero team up. With Shaq on board, the entire dynamic of the heat changed. Suddenly, it was championship or bust, though many believed it would be bust. <laughs> Have him, you know, kind of lift me up the way that he did. He lift the state of Florida up. He lift Miami, the city up. One of the most anticipated games of the year came when Shaq and the Heat faced off against Kobe the and the Lakers. In the air, 19,000 pairs of eyes just riveted now. Both players are looking at this as, hey, I want to excel. I want my team to win the game. Here comes Kobe out into the picture. And Shaq with a little elbow, but never looked at him, looked right over the top of Kobe's head. So Shaq was right there and then Kobe with that fall away to tie the game. Both men wanted to make a statement. There goes Shaq and how do you stop him? Shaq was as aggressive as he'd been all year. Oh, baby. Well, that's a pretty good little early statement. Wade feeds O'Neal and then O'Neal missed. Got it back, puts it in. I want to tell you. Even some hard fouling. Oh, Kobe goes all the way to the hoop and runs into guess who? And that's foul. It came down to a final shot from Kobe. And Eddie Jones. And Jumaine Jones to inbound. Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Shaq seemed reborn in Miami. I knew that it wasn't going to go in. Shaq 
Fei Hong. I'm a poor Chinese rickshaw driver from a town called Hong Lo. Get down with the crew. I'm coming for you. The Heat set aim on their first NBA Finals appearance in franchise history. And the Pistons tonight are wearing their lucky red uniforms. They're 9-0, Mike, on the season in their reds. Standing in their way, the team that had effectively ended Shaq's yeah, dynasty in LA. The Pistons. you got to get back in your transition defense. Wade, alley up. Nice. Shaquille O'Neal. Wade on the drive, reverse, O'Neal. For the first time ever, the Miami Heat have made it to the NBA Finals. The key to their success has been a terrific bond between their two star players, Shaquille O'Neal and Dwayne Wade. They're at different paths of their career right now, Yubi, but they have made beautiful music together. How special was that one to win? It was special because I knew I was getting older. I was starting to starting to lose a little bit. An aging Shaq leaned on the flash. When I got there with D-Wade, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm older. I'm tired. It's your team, D-Wade. Oh, oh, D-Wade rose to the occasion. The <laughs> Averaging nearly 35 points a game. He has that jumper going early. Shaq was dominant in spurts. Shaq has always said, I'll be there when they count. And was even hitting his free throws. D. Wade's historic performance was ultimately too much for the Mavs to overcome. Shaq had captured his fourth title. The Miami Heat, they've done it. They win their first championship in franchise history. Congratulations, Miami Heat, 2006 NBA champions. I came to Miami because of this young fella right here. I knew he was a special player. I knew the first time I saw him, I knew that he was something special. So I knew it was my job to come here and make him better. It wasn't the end of his career. He would be traded several times as he aged. Breaking news, the Cleveland Cavaliers, Phoenix Suns, agreeing to a trade for Shaquille O'Neal, sending Shaq to Cleveland. Ultimately finishing with the Boston Celtics. He earned his way into the discussion of greatest big men ever, both Miami and Los Angeles retired Shaq's number. He retired after 19 seasons. He now analyzes the game on TNT. Whether it was his on-court dominance, his off-court charm, or any number of memorable moments, Shaq left an impossibly large impact on the game. Three timeouts left, the Lakers have two. Bryant. I was going to arrogantly say to everybody in the world, I'm the most dominant big man ever, and I don't want to ever hear anybody else's name again. Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq Attack. Nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Nobody. Make it so.